Hi everybody, this is Brian with the Instructional Tech Coordinator team. We're going to look at the GarageBand iPad app and specifically we're going to look at some very basic editing. So in the previous video I did a single track recording and now what I'm going to do is teach you to do some very basic editing. So as you can see right now, I have a light uh, blue or a kind of a hazy blue colored single track of audio. I'm going to light that up by selecting it. So all I need to do is single tap on it and I have now selected that particular audio track. Now there's another term that you're gonna to have to become familiar with and that's called the playhead. The playhead is this little gray arrow and I can move it by using my finger. I tap on it and drag, so it's kind of the tap and hold, and I drag it to where I need the playhead to be. Now typically whenever you do some sort of editing in GarageBand, the playhead is the indicator of where that edit editing will take place. Well, what kinds of editing can you do? Well, in the previous recording, I very intentionally spoke at the beginning as I was talking to you, the viewer, and then I left a lengthy pause, and then I recorded what it was I wanted to record in my single track recording. I left another lengthy pause, and then I finished up. This is pretty representative of the way most of us will do this kind of audio recording work where we'll begin something, perhaps not exactly all of the things that we say in that recording are what we want in our final finished product. And so we've gotta be able to cut things out of that finished product. So I'm gonna show you very quickly how to do that with a really basic editing. So once I have selected, okay, you can see the difference in color. Here's kind of that hazy blue, more navy color. Now it's light, uh, lighter blue color and it's kind of brighter. So now it's selected. Once it is selected though, and I have my playhead set to the point where I want to do some basic editing, so I'm gonna do that here. All I need to do is double tap and you'll see right here, I want you to pay attention again. I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna double tap and right here you'll see my editing options that come up. Now, if I were to cut, I would cut the entire piece. If I were to copy, I would copy the, copy the entire piece. But the reality is I don't want the entire audio piece that I just recorded. As I said, this beginning and the end parts aren't what I'm looking for in my finished product. So what I need to become familiar with and use often in this audio editing platform is the split option. So I'm gonna select split. Split allows me to basically cut it into smaller pieces. When I select split, you see this, uh, scissor icon that appears. Now to complete the split, all I need to do is drag it down. And you'll notice I have two separate audio pieces. How do I know that I have two separate audio pieces? Because now I can select one part of it and not the other. Now, as you guessed, I'm gonna need to, cause I really don't want this end piece here either. This was a little bit of a mess up on my part as well. I just want this audio that is right here. So I'm gonna move my playhead again. I'm gonna double tap. I'm going to split again, drag down my scissors. And now you'll notice when I select off that I can select three different parts. So it's really like cutting up um, film reel or anything else like that where into the parts that you need. I really only want this part, but these two parts are things that I need to get rid of. So once I've isolated the part that I need, now all I need to do is delete the stuff that I don't need. So I'm gonna select the first part, again, double tap. You'll notice right here what has popped up and I can select delete, great. Now I'm gonna move the part that I need over a little bit, so I select it and just using my finger, I drag it along the timeline. So I'm just kinda of like I would with a mouse, just dragging and dropping it to where I'd like it on the timeline. And let's go and get rid of that other part. So again, how do I get rid of it? I select it, I double tap, and I delete. Now my other options are to cut it, so I could copy it somewhere else, loop it, which allows me to keep playing that same part over and over again, okay? And we'll talk about the other piece very quickly in just a second. Double tap, and I am going to delete. Now the last thing you'll see here, when I double tap it, is rename. This becomes really valuable when you do a lot of small clips put together. When I use rename, right here, right now, it says Audio Recorder 3, but we're gonna call this something else. We're gonna call this Intro, and we'll delete that out. Yeah. We'll call this 
intro text. Because on my script that I've used, that's what I called it. So now here is my intro text properly named so that I can find it later when I've got a lot of different parts in a multi-track editing project. Not always the most important piece, but sometimes that will really save you a lot of time and confusion having to go back and figure out what things are. So those are the basic editing commands when you use GarageBand iOS on the iPad.